Chase Disney Dreams. Welcome to the vlogs. Here at Chasing Disney Dreams, we talk about Disney, we talk about theme parks. Enjoy this week's vlog. I'm your guy, Al. Woo! Good afternoon, YouTube! What's going on, guys? Boy, we are so excited, so ready for the new, brand new Avengers Endgame. That's right, your boy Captain America. I got my new t-shirt on. Oh man, guys. Let me explain to you guys how excited I am for Endgame. No one better spoil it for me. We're going Saturday. We can't wait. Boy, guys. The excitement level is up here today. It was up through the roof. But then I heard some upsetting news today of regarding Disney's Magic Kingdom. Um, at the Diz put out a news report or um, their daily emails and they put that Filler Magic is going to be leaving the Magic Kingdom. I love the Filler, Ma Filler Magic. I love it. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing um, 3D show that's been through been in Magic Kingdom since I can remember. Uh, I'm really disappointed that this one's going to be leaving us. I really do love it. Whew. That's sad. But, my Disney fanatics out there, this could be grounds for a brand new 3D show or a brand new attraction. So I trust Disney and I trust that moving along and moving forward that the old rides must go sometimes and the new rides must come in. So we'll just remember that many of these Disney World memories will stick in my head forever of Phil Magic. But that's enough about Disney today. What? 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 Yeah, I know, right? I'm not talking about Disney today, guys. I'm talking about Universal Orlando today. That's right, guys. Your guy, Al, is going to be going ahead and making his way to Disney's Universal. Today, we're going to talk about must-dos. We're going to talk about the parks. We're going to talk all about Universal Studios must-do Universal. <laughs> I almost said must-do Disney. Um, so let's just go over what Universal is. Universal is an amazing theme park in Orlando, Florida, that part most of you probably already know, Universal is made up of three theme parks, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Volcano Bay. The air quotes were because Volcano Bay is more like a water park than a theme park, but they call it one of their main theme parks. Universal also has a thing called the City Walk. The City Walk is where you go and you have plenty of shopping and delicious restaurants. Um, so we're going to jump right into it and we're going to talk right about City Walk and Universal and Islands. We'll get right into it today. So City Walk. City Walk is probably lesser... It's kind of hard. City Walk is like your Disney Springs, but it's kind of like a step down. It has more clubs, more nightlife. Um, it has places like Burger King, Panda Express. It has a delicious brick oven pizza place, Tusum's Chocolate Factory, um, the Grill Brew, um, NBC Grill Brew, which is a delicious restaurant. They have um, catfish or dogfish or... It's a little bit more of an expensive restaurant. They have a bunch of restaurants and universal shops and places to hang out when you're not in the parks. It's like a it's like a Disney Spring, so to speak. So then we're gonna go on to Volcano Bay. I was gonna jump into one of the other. Let's go right to Volcano. But Volcano Bay is a water park, an interactive water park. The main draw to Volcano Bay is going to be the amazing technology that they use inside their water park. They have a device that you wear on your wrist like an Apple Watch, but it is called Tapu Tapu. You take this device and you go up to the rides and you tap your Tapu Tapu on the device and it gives you a wait time of say 45 minutes. That device gives you a return time 
to go back and it'll notify you when you're going to go ride one of the rides. So you don't have to stand in long lines, which is a great thing because some of the rides inside of Volcano Bay tend to get longer lines in the summer months. Tapu Tapu also has an interactive play area where you can go to certain um, like water guns and you can shoot the, uh, shoot the water at the people in the uh, Venture River. They have interactive like flowers that spot out water. It's all water interactive, you know. Um, it's really interactive in the kids section in Volcano Bay. The number one thing for rides in Volcano Bay would be the Krakatau water slide. It is an interactive um, water roller coaster. It is like the Crushing Gush, Crushing Gusher at Typhoon Lagoon. All these names have are such a <laughs> some of these names are terrible to remember. Uh, Crushing Gusher over at Typhoon Lagoon. It's basically the same thing, a little bit longer. I see a little bit faster. Um, DJ Diz and myself went on that ride. First things first, when we got to Volcano Bay, when it first opened. And it is by far the best water ride, water slide in Volcano Bay. The best ride for family and friends and little ones, I would actually say is the interactive volcano itself. And the wave pool. The wave pool and interactive volcano are amazing. The interactive interactive volcano actually has a voice inside. It has a digital picture of this uh, this um, god of the volcano that speaks to you when you're inside. It has amazing steam features and it makes it look like the volcano is erupting. And yeah, they definitely did an amazing job with this water theme park. So we went over Volcano Bay and we went over City Walk. The one thing I want to touch upon in Volcano Bay is the food. The food of Volcano Bay is much better than any other food item or food that is in the theme parks itself. What I mean by that, guys, is if you're actually going to eat at Volcano Bay, they have really delicious items that are available for you and your family to eat. It's inexpensive and it is delicious. Another thing I want to touch upon is... The sidewalks have the beautiful um, water sprinkler water sprinklers that keep your feet from burning from this from, from the sun. It is a very well thought out park, and it is definitely probably my favorite water theme park in Orlando. The only thing is, is you don't feel that immersion that you feel like in, when you're in the Disney water parks. Because of the fact that when you're in the Volcano Bay, you can see the highway... Um, it sort of ruins it a little bit, but, but I'm not trying to be picky. I'm just trying to say that Volcano Bay, the placement of it maybe shouldn't have been right off of I-4. Moving on. Universal's Islands of Adventure is a beautiful theme park. Now, Islands of Adventure is for more of the adventurous type, the thrill seekers, so to speak. As you walk in to Isles of Adventure, you walk right down a small little, sort of like a Main Street type thing. They have shops and places to get Cinnabons and a Christmas store. And they have very beautiful atmosphere around you. You do feel like you're sort of like in a medieval theme there. And um, as you walk in, you're going to walk down and that's when sort of like the park kind of opens up to you. On your right hand side, you're going to see a restaurant called Confrisco's, which is probably by far the best table service restaurant in islands other than mythos which mythos is kind of above my price range um and then when you're on your left hand side you're going to see super um superhero island which is going to be all about you're going to see the big hulk roller coaster which is an amazing roller coaster and then you're going to see a um, fantastic four logo and that's when you know you're actually in the actual superhero island itself and they have amazing Spider-Man, the uh, indoor 3D film. I actually think it's 4D now. It's a 4D film. That's another must-do attraction inside of Islands of Adventure. And every so often, every few hours, you're going to hear uh, this big loudspeaker saying, Oh my God, here come the superheroes. And they come on these um, four-wheeling quads, and they come flying down the middle of the road, and they interact with all the people, and you see Captain America and Wolverine, and some of the uh, villains, and some of the female uh, superheroes, and um, 
yeah, that was a lot just to think about. I'm trying to do this off the top of my head so I can give you guys a little sort of mental picture of what you're getting into in each island, each island of islands of adventure. Um, then once you go into Superhero Island, you're going to pass by um, Ripshaw Falls, which is one of their beautiful water rides. It's sort of like a flume type, like Splash Mountain. You get you get a lot more um, a lot more water on the clothes. Then you're going to continue on to islands, and you're going to run into Kong, which is the new, um, probably one of the newer rides inside of islands. Kong is on a safari-like vehicle. You go through the whole island. It's a very interactive screen-type ride. Um, it's nice. Uh, the queue is kind of better than the actual ride itself, but um, it's not my favorite. It is a must-do. The rides that I'm mentioning to you guys are definitely top-tier rides in Universal today. Um, we'll go over at the end real quick. This is going to be probably one of our, my longer vlogs. Another amazing, amazing ride inside of Islands of Adventure would be the um, would be the Harry Potter area. Now, I wanted to save this part for last because Harry Potter connects into Universal, so that's where we're going to go from here. Now, when you get into Harry Potter Hogsmeade area, Hogsmeade, I think it's called Hogsmeade, 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 and when you get into Hogsmeade, you're going to be immersed into this amazing area. Amazing. You're going to see the huge um, huge castle, amazing castle in the background. That's where the For Forbidden Journey ride itself is. And Forbidden Journey is a must-do, must-ride. Now, for you bigger guys out there who have the broad shoulders like I do, um, I went, when we first, oh, when the first ride first opened, I was able to ride it. I was a little bit less broad across the chest. Um, just keep, be aware that you're going to be put this, putting this uh, lap bar over your, it's more of your shoulders that are the issue. So if you sit up like this, make sure you kind of shrug down a little bit so you can actually fit in the ride. I did have some issues with that prior, but now I figured out how to do it. That's just a little sort of hidden trick there. Um, Forbidden Journey is one of the best, best rides that is in Islands of Adventure. It's a definitely a must-do. When you exit Forbidden Journey, you're going to see this ride called the Hippograph. Um, and it's sort of like a children's goofy, rock, small little roller coaster. It's like the goofy roller coaster inside Magic Kingdom. It's very tiny, very small, very good for the little ones. And that's the only actual two rides that are in this land. You're going to go ahead and move forward up, and then you're going to see the um, the three broomsticks is in Islands. Um, I've had a butter beer there. The frozen butter beer is delicious. You must try it. They have pumpkin juice, very Harry Potter. They have a um, wand shop, Ollivander's inside of Islands. It's an experience. You must try it. It's great to play with the wands and, you know, you know, play with them and all that good stuff. <laughs> um, sorry, Buzz. And um, so once you experience Hogsmeade, you're going to want to get on the train at King's King's Cross, I think it's called. You're going to want to get on the train um, and head over to the new Harry Potter land, which is in Universal Studios. Now, the new Harry Potter land in Universal Studios, a little inside tip and trick for you guys, is if you don't have a park to park pass, which means if you do not have a one-day or multiple-day park to park where you can go to both parks in one day, sort of like their fast, sort of like their park hopper, like you Disney fanatics out there know all about, you have to have a park to park to get on the train to go to Universal. So for those of you that plan on having a park to park and going over to Universal, Universal is one of the top places for indoor rides. Tons of indoor rides. So you're in Universal's um, Gringotts area. Gringotts is the new part of Universal Studios. At least I think that's what's called Gringotts. I know the ride inside of the area is called Gringotts. And that ride is a fast-paced theme park ride. Roller coaster style. But you stop and go, stop and go. It's good for little ones, good for the teens, good for the adults. It is definitely by far one of um, Polly Dot. She loves this ride. This is by far her favorite ride in Universal. 
So Gringotts, again, is very fast-paced. Very the Universal and Islands and that whole district of theme parks love to use screens. So they're big on the whole screen thing, and Gringotts is definitely a must-do ride. Uh, so you're in the whole area, and you're going to see this big dragon on top of the bank. And that thing breathes fire at you every so often. They have an Ollivander's as well. They have a delicious ice cream shop where you can get butterbeer flavored ice cream, apple pie flavored ice cream, regular soft serve. It's a very soft serve, very delicious. Um, and they only have one ride inside of Gringotts, the area of Gringotts. But um, amazing, amazing atmosphere. So you're exiting Gringotts, and I'm going to take you around the park. It's a big circle. I'm going to take you through the left-hand side now, where you're going to see Men in Black, which is sort of like the Buzz Lightyear shooting range game. Um, it's been around forever. It's a great ride. I wouldn't say it's a must-do, but it's a, sort of like a filler. Like we talked about in Disney rides, it's a filler ride. Another amazing experience inside of Universal when you're passing by Men in Black is going to be The Simpsons Land. Now, The Simpsons Land has great rides in it. I would say The Simpsons Ride is a must-do. It is a um, another screen ride. It's definitely a must-do. If you want, grab a Lard Lad's Donut, um, Bumblebee's Tacos. They have a taco truck. And um, Moe's Tavern, grab yourself a Flaming Mo. It's just... So, it's a little funny because I grew up sort of knowing more about The Simpsons than I did so much about more Disney. Because I, I loved The Simpsons growing up. And um, being in that land, you actually feel like you're in The Simpsons in the cartoon. So, once you leave The Simpsons area... Um, oh, don't forget to go to... Uh, don't forget in The Simpsons area... Don't forget to go around and, and play around with the interactive things inside Moe's Bar, Moe's Tavern. Um, it's all quick service restaurants inside. They have good food, decent food. Uh, your typical theme park food with a twist. Next on the agenda, guys, would be if you head right over to Transformers. That's an amazing 3D ride. I say that's a must-do. And another must-do for you thrill lovers out there is Rip Ride Rocket. Yeah, rock and roll. It's a very fast theme park ride, roller coaster. You can't miss it. It's got lights. It's got sound. It's got music, flips, hills, everything. It's definitely for you theme park roller coaster lovers. Jimmy Fallon's another must-do ride. It's another screen ride. Um, that's all. These are all these rides are in the same vicinity. Another must-do ride. My God, guys, there's so many must-dos in Universal. Now I'm thinking about it. Uh, the Mummy is an indoor roller coaster, kind of, sort of like rock and roller coaster. A little more subtle for those of you that aren't really on that level of of rock and roller coaster yet, but you want to do a subtle roller coaster. Um, Last thing I want to mention about Universal Inside the Park is Despicable Me 4D. That ride is all about the little minions, which I had a little minion running around here a little while ago. Where is he? Oh, he's behind my head. The little minion guys, you know these little guys. You know, these all these crazy guys. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the minions are really good. It's a really good ride. It's really cute. It's another screen ride. Guys, if some of you do um, have motion sickness... A few of these rides you may want to skip out on. They're not exactly motion friendly, right? Yeah. Um, Universal Islands and Volcano Bay and City Walk. Definitely, if you're a theme park fanatic, you'll love it. Us Disney fanatics, we sort of have a, a sort of like a commitment to you, for, to Disney. You know, you feel like you're married to Disney. And you feel like sometimes when you're going to Universal, you feel like you're cheating on Disney. But you're not. You know, it's it's a, it's a all fun. It's all fun and games, and you got to love Disney. And you got to love Universal, because we do both, and we love them all. Um, like I said, my work has supported me, and um, they gave us a few tickets to head down there. And we'll be vlogging throughout Universal. A few side notes about Universal is the food inside the theme parks. Eh, you might want to go to... The City Walk area, maybe eat there instead of anything in the theme parks, in my opinion only. Um, side note is you do have to pay for parking. If you're going to be parking there, they have a big parking garage where you do pay for. Volcano, Universal and Islands, it's one parking garage. City Walk is normally open till about 2 a.m., so it's great to just hang out and sit around and enjoy it. Islands and Universal usually are open 
um, summer months between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m., 9 a.m. and 10 p.m. And they do have the they do have the superstar parade during the day at Universal. And Islands has the fireworks and projection show at night inside of Hogsmeade. So, real quick, we have been talking for almost... Wow, we've been talking for 20 minutes on this vlog, so I want to wrap it up in a few because I don't want to bore you guys. But definitely the top rides would have to be Gringotts, Forbidden Journey, Transformers. Um, I haven't tried the new Fast and Furious ride because I haven't been there yet. I heard it's just like... Um, Kong, Kong ride. Um, my probably my favorite water ride inside of Universal would be Popeyes. That's another ride I forgot to mention. That's a really good raft ride, like Cali, Cali River Rapids, and Animal Kingdom. Guys, for those of you that aren't really familiar with Universal, I sort of did the whole this ride's like this ride in Disney, this ride's like this ride in Disney. I wanted to give you guys a little familiar, be familiar with the park before you go to it. I hope I gave you an overall um, idea of what you're getting into when you go to Universal. Guys, keep chasing those Disney dreams. Keep chasing those Universal dreams. That doesn't sound as good as chase your Disney dreams. All kidding aside, guys, let's go Avengers Friday. Well, we're going Saturday. So Endgame, Saturday night, disappointed about filler magic. Um, you know, everybody's really excited. Everybody's doing their announcement trips to going to Disneyland and Disney World. You've already had our announcement. You know we're going. Guys, keep watching the vlogs. Shoot me a message. Comment. Let me know what you think. You know, we chase our Disney dreams, and we can chase those Universal dreams. It doesn't sound right, but it's true. Guys, I probably won't be vlogging the rest of the week. This will be my weekly vlog. I want to start something new. I'm going to run it by DJ Diz and Polygot to see how they feel. I want to kind of maybe do a free-for-all Friday. Like, we kind of just free-do free, free do the vlog, whatever we want to talk about that day. Maybe wherever we're taking the camera that day, we'll vlog. We'll see what happens. But I'm really starting to love doing the channel. I'm really, really having fun doing this, guys. Have a great week. Chase Disney dreams, yeah. Chase Disney dreams, yeah. Chase Disney dreams, yeah. Have a great day!